I'd like to offer an apology, uh, whether my previous talk uh, was disrespectful to Jewish people due to the fact that a rabbi was murdered yesterday uh, for being a Jew, obviously, even though they say, oh, mental illness, I don't know what. Um, it doesn't, what I, what's really difficult for me still, again, I'm saying, is the lack of camaraderie between people, the way people can just, oh, okay, let's just continue our daily lives. And there's a special uh, nucleus in this uh, society who very wealthy people who can travel, even at Corona time, very easily, who can afford everything, who don't have to work, who don't need money because they have a lot of money and they just don't care about changing society because it's very comfortable for them. And of course there's another nucleus in this society of religious people who don't feel the need to change anything either. And I feel like a change has to come. I don't think destroying a house of a terrorist will solve the conflict. I think solving hate by destroying a house of a terrorist is not going to help. I think the only way to fight hate between Jews and Arabs is first of all to build bridges and second of all to work on love within us. And I'm not feeling compassion these days. I'm feeling a lot of anger and rage and I, I admit it. I'm having a problem. I'm having a problem loving my mankind when my mankind is turning a back to me. When I feel a lack of empathy, a lack of interest in other people and a selfishness that comes from people that are very, very wealthy. And it's been said that it's harder for a camel to go through the needle of an eye than for a wealthy man to enter the gates of heaven. And these religious people who study and believe in God, they mean well, but in reality the separateness that divides people will never end in a good place. Nationalism, religion, that divide people and label people into Jews, Arabs, whatever, whatever. These labels will always cause tension between people. And on, on top of it, leaders that call for violence, people that get rewards, and I'm talking about how, on the one hand, we accept money going to political entities that are violent in the Palestinian territories. And on the other hand, it's called peace. I don't get it. So, of course, they're encouraging violence. And, of course, in Israel, there, is, there are also people that encourage violence against uh, Arabs. And it's the same thing in the US also the way people are encouraging violence against people because of the color of their skin or their ethnic origin uh, any sort of violence is really wrong even when I yell and I scream and I get angry it's so wrong and I feel bad for that I really feel bad that I'm not kind but I don't feel like I can be kind when I live amongst people that are not kind so what does it say you're not supposed to sit among fools and I've been sitting among fools too long. I need to change the place where I'm living to live in a place where people care about each other. I need to be with people that are pioneers the way pioneers were, that sit in places that are green and where people care about their communities and where there's contact between people and not alienation. And Tel Aviv is the center of alienation and the center of hypocrisy. While we speak about peace, we don't care that other people get murdered. While we speak about equality, people don't care about inequality. And people come from US and they don't really care about anything that's happening here. They care about their own little asses. They don't care that other people have nothing to eat. There's a man who came begging for money and I, I was angry at him for the following reason, that I, I'm scared. I'm scared of being in, in, in his situation. And I know I would never ask anyone for anything because I would be too embarrassed. It scares me. It scares me when people are begging for money. It scares me when I'm sitting here 
when I could be doing so much work had my had I been had I been able to have the position of changing something and I don't think I have I see intolerance and I see lack of interest in anything else there's a kernel of uh, people coming here from the US who could they, they could be living in New York they don't give a shit about Israel they don't care about anybody who's sitting next to them and they ring in there speaking their nasal voices about their travel abroad and all the money they have and they don't care but some people don't have money and it makes me angry that a man has to beg for money it makes me angry and I was taking my anger out on him and I'm so sad that I did that I just get so overwhelmed by seeing people begging for money while other people have so much money and I, I'm angry why Israel is helping bring wealthy people to Israel they don't help people that come from other countries and I can, I, I, I can testify to that they didn't help my son because he's not American and he's not a Canadian and he's not French and he's not Russian so you're not in the right category, don't get help here. Israel is not a country that helps. There are a lot of rich, wealthy Jews here that they have parents who can support them till the day they die. And you know what? I'm sick of that. I'm sick of my country supporting wealthy people while other people don't have enough to eat. I'm sick of poverty and I'm sick of worrying about what the next day will bring. I no longer can afford even basic luxuries and I'm not feeling sorry for myself. I'm feeling sorry for a lot of people who don't beg for money, who don't have enough, but don't ask for help because they're too proud. And I feel sad for the society that used to be socialist, they're becoming like Donald Trump heaven. We are a copy of New York City. We're not Tel Aviv anymore, but we're mini New York City. People come here and they recreate New York City. We didn't come to, my forefathers didn't come to this country to create mini New York with the same values of New York City. We came here to create a, a just society where people care about each other and it's very far cry from what it looks like here. When people have to beg for money and when people don't have enough and other people have too much and they, where am I gonna travel now? <laughs> Sitting around counting their money and using their power to become richer and wealthier. I'm sick of that. I'm sick of the wealthy becoming more wealthy and the poor becoming more poor. And I'm sick of nobody caring. This is why I need to get away from this city. And I will try to find the strength to get the hell out of here. And as for my anger, it's good anger when it's gonna motivate me to move. Yes, I sound American, but I'm not American. I just lived a few years in the US and I'm so happy I left because I have so little respect for what Americans represent these days. In Europe, people hate them. Where I lived, it was the most, the biggest insult was to be thought as American. And I was often thought of as an American. And I'm saying, I'm proud not to be American. I'm proud that I not anything to do with the capitalism model of America. And I'm very sad that Tel Aviv has become miniature New York miniature America. I don't want to be miniature America. I want to be Israel. And the only place I can find it is, 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 is outside of the city, far away from the city. And I need to move. I need to pack up my dogs and I need to get and cat and get out of here. That's what I need to do. Being angry is not going to help. I'm happy I don't have friends because these kind of friends, I don't need enemies. I need people with the same values and there's nobody here that has the same values. People here are too comfortable. This is a comfort zone that will self-destruct. I don't want to be around this place which every year becomes more and more selfish and more and more full of ego. I don't want to think only about myself. I want to be part of a community that cares about its members. I don't want to be part of miniature New York. 